to a picture that the artist not dumb pain. Visualize my demeanor, keep me playing. Broken world, broken promise, keep slaying. Mesmerized by dark lies, so true. True turn the lies, I don't know what to do. I can tell I'm getting close. They don't wanna see me break through. Throwing that. Hey, what was? <laughs> What's up? Um, I don't know what name I went by by now. <laughs> oh, it's your girl. That simple. Here we go. Um, if you hear music in the background, that's cause I just don't know how to do makeup in silence. It's pretty hard. I mean, I used to do it every once in a while. No, I don't do it at all, so making these YouTube videos, it was kind of hard. A little like somebody punched me in my face. That's not what happened though. What happened was, I'm super light skinned. The makeup is completely off, but it stained my eye, so mm, it's not gonna cover up. I thank everybody who's collabed with me and making this possible. Those who constantly talk to me about, you gotta do it, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. I thank you. This is what, this will be, what's gonna happen? I don't know. <laughs> what you call it today? I have a job interview. So, I'm about to do something like I basically just do an outline of my eyebrows and I like go from the back of it or, or like half of my brow or like half of it. I fill it in like just a little bit. It's not completely filled in as you see. I just do a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is get the spoolie part and just brush it out. I used to be able to do ombre eyebrows. I don't know. Um, I don't even know, I haven't tried it, but I used, to, I, and I got all the stuff to do with, sort of, kind of, but I used to do, like, um, the beginning of my eyebrow, like, a light brown, and then, like, the end of it, like, very, very dark brown, and it would be, like, five, but I used to spend time, time on my eyebrow. I used to miss, like, the whole school bus, <laughs> the whole school bus, not half of it, but the whole thing, but I used to miss it. Um, you know, that was just stupid. You spent your time getting ready for school. Then you didn't make it. But you got your eyebrows done. <laughs> Sometimes. But my mama cussed me out for sure. Did I get out of that makeup? I feel like makeup isn't the end all be all. You should still love you for you. And you see, these are two different eyebrows. You should still love you for you and not let this like define you as a person or whatever. Because back then, like when I first started, I was like, I don't know, not caring about how I actually look, or I didn't know how I actually look for like a hot second. Like, it was weird. I'll be like, oh wow. Like, I don't think I really knew that I had freckles for a hot second. So when I first like, just like recently, I've been on some like whole natural stuff because like half the time I really don't feel like doing it. But when I like take a big break, that's when I'm like, oh, I want to do my makeup, and then I come up with something like five. Um, things about eyebrows that you need to know is one, one, they are sisters, not twins. That's what made me spend so much time doing eyebrows in the morning. Cause I was trying to make them perfect. Look exactly alike. And these eyebrows are already two different eyebrows between the way how they grow. About me, I'm 19. Um, about in a year, I'll be 20. And this year has just been the best year of my life. I bet people are so tired of hearing me saying that. But it really has. It's had the most problems. Well, I wouldn't say the most, but the most self problems like that I have to handle. Um, I feel like it's been molding me being like stronger or whatever, so 
I feel like it's the best one so far. That's another thing. You can go ahead and like make the shape that you actually want. People always ask, like, how, did I, how do I get my eyebrows so perfect? Well, your bestie, your bestie, concealer. Um, I got this from Family Dollar. It's LA Colors Concealer. It. Um, the reason why I like it is because it's thick. Um, let me just tell you what to do. Right here is where you're gonna, I start from the front. I used to start from the back. I don't know why, but I think it's better this way. Um, what I'm gonna do is go like, slightly up under like not even like that much close well it's going to be close but it's not touching the eyebrow pencil because when concealer and concealer and like the eyebrow pencil or whatever consistency you're using on your eyebrows mix it's a nasty like grayish color to me it look great to me and it's gonna mess up the whole look of your eyebrow because the concealer is what makes it have like a perfect angle and look right and stuff so if it mixes then Mm -hmm. You just have to cover up with highlighter or something. But I try my best not to touch it and try not to mix. So I go up under. Um, I'm not a licensed cosmetologist. Let's go ahead and start there. <laughs> so I really don't be knowing everything. I watched a few YouTubes like. I was in my sophomore year, going into my sophomore year of high school, cause that summer was the most boring summer ever. And I mean, I I was trying to learn how to do it with the dip brow, I think at the time. And with YouTube videos, I feel like it's not how to that you're trying to learn. It's what you gon' you see how this person did it. How are you gonna feel comfortable doing it yourself? Cause that's what ended up happening. But I, I don't think for like a hot second when I was doing my eyebrows, I wasn't doing it like anybody else. Like I did it a weird way and it did take longer. But it was the way how I got the results. <laughs> you gotta know how to ball on a budget. And I'm gonna help you with that because just recently I started buying like extra stuff or whatever. But for the most part, all this is gonna be cheap and easy to um, do. I'm probably gonna do like two different videos, maybe occasionally using the higher up makeup products or so, and then like beauty supply, dollar store type type deal or whatever. This brush, this concealer brush that I have is called, well, it's a flat eyeliner brush, but I use it for concealer because I like how it's so flat or whatever. Um, what'd you call it? Got this from the beauty supply store. Um, it shouldn't have been too much. I don't think I spent too much because I think I, like, I bought a whole bunch at once and it was all packaged separately. I think it was like probably like $2, $3 each or something. I stepped on it because my room get messed sometimes. I know, it's very sad. And the case broke, so now it's always out and I barely use it at this point because I forget where it's at so it doesn't get messed up anymore. Okay, but I'm about to use this color. This was, um, I don't know the name. Like the 
least that that one would have came in. I think they were the same brand. No, this one's Beauty Treats. I think that one was either it's Beauty Treats or it's New York something. But I'm gonna use this right here a little bit. Aki, Nick AK, New York, that's the brand. And I just dabbed it. Darker. So I'm gonna do that last and I didn't show what color I use. I don't think I did um, So it's so fragile. This is the one that I use so. Got this from the dollar store as well. Not the dollar store, family dollar. It's wet and wild. Hello, hello <laughs> A little lot, <laughs> a little bit. What uh, beauty blender? That's is what's gonna get this all over the place. And I did my forehead last, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you it's gonna be like a little bit. The true potato is still stuck right there from when you put it in, so I try to hurry up. Covergirl True Blend. It's just about empty. I'm just going to use Because at one point I was a skin color. But summer happened and other seasons and I changed colors. So if I use this blend, it would be too light for me. And then I have. Maybelline fit me. I'm gonna do what she poured it out and got some. I got too close to my apple. But I'll mix it too, and it's the perfect combination. <laughs> talking about a whole bunch of stuff uh college i am not in i went for a semester even then um there were some aspects i like some aspects that i didn't like about school do i think about going back to school money wise yes like i do believe if you have that on your under your boat you have a better chance of making more money i do believe in that but other than that, that's the only reason why I would go. Not because there's a certain job that I want. Because I'm not sure still. Like this, this is me trying to see what will work. So I got this contour and glow kit. Uh, one of my friends gave this to me. So I do a mixture of 
the thing is broken. I do a mixture of this dark brown and this like reddish color or whatever. So I like, tap a few times in dark brown, tap once in the red or twice. <laughs> contour kit that's when I first started highlighting the contour and it comes with this brush every time in it so I have only got like two or three of them or anything I threw that one away yeah, I'll just use it for my nose <laughs> up in here and this could be like a whole like little natural look boom a look inside of a look that's what you need to have more of looks inside of the looks to make it quicker and easier because there's no point in like caking on hella makeup i don't think i put that much makeup on my face because if i wipe my face it's gonna come off so i feel like you should be putting that much on you should still look like you enhance your features i feel like i still look like me because this is um what is it beige it's a fur between the one highlighter it's supposed to be um it's a baked illuminating <laughs> Okay, so this is the look out in the daylight because my room is kind of dim. But yeah, I just take this trip with me. We're going to build our confidence. If you don't have it built already, I'm going to help you. If you want to maintain it, I'm definitely going to teach you about that because at times I do fail at that. Maintaining my confidence. Makeup is not a part of your confidence. Not one part of it. It's about how you feel about yourself and all the whole it's how you feel but yeah stick with me go learn some stuff gonna go down the oh parts just fell gonna go down through this road of bettering ourselves together or whatever just seeing me better myself or whatever i hope i'm able to help some people 
gonna tell some stories, gonna be funny. I'm gonna try and promote people while I'm promoting myself. So, if you got any songs, some artwork, a talent or anything that you want to get showcased on my channel, be sure to let me know. Message me, DM me, all that. And yeah, let's get ready. Cause it's finna get litty up in here. All right, thank you. Swear to God, I just be in my zone. Want that cash? I ain't trying to be known.